I know that my husband is cheating on me. I, F40, found that out about six months ago. I went into a total shock. I thought he, M39, loved me because he tells me that every day. We have a beautiful family together, three beautiful children, five to four and 16 months. Beautiful home, vacation home. We are close to both our families and everything else is perfect. She, F35, is a co-worker if my husband that I know very well. She has been in my home. I have comforted her when her husband cheated on her and left her for his new woman. I saw her pain. Little did I know that she would inflict that same pain on me a few months later. I saw her nudes on his phone, talk about their hookups on Messenger. She isn't even beautiful. She is disgusting, pathetic, and miserable. I know I'm being a disgusting misandrist here, but I can't help myself. What does she have that I don't? He disgusts me very much. He is pathetic and stupid. My respect for him is gone. I have chosen to pretend that I don't know. I love my life and I'll be damned if I share my children and not be able to see them every day of their lives. Not him nor her deserve me separating from my babies, my home, my family, my comfortable life and my safety. Sometimes I think he knows that, I know. When he looks at me and asks me to come back to him. When he asks where I'm in my thoughts. It feels like your body is here but your mind is a thousand miles away. I don't answer him. He starts to argue. Sometimes it feels like he is doing it to provoke a reaction out of me, but I never answer or engage until he gets tired and leaves me alone. I never initiate anything with him, and when he has me, I just let him, and I refuse to let him pleasure me. In the beginning he complained that I am distant and cold and that I want him to use protection. I told him I stopped using BC so he has to wear protection. His complaining stopped when I told him that it's either this or nothing. Six months later, I am mostly at peace with my life. Still a lot of ups and downs, but the downs are getting fewer and further apart. Today was a down, so I needed to vent. The part of my heart and thoughts that were occupied with my husband were suddenly empty, and I have found out that I'm pretty good at filling the void with other things, new hobbies, and even more quality time with my babies and loved ones. All is well. Elmars, look into talking to a therapist. I'm, I started therapy when it all began because I was going mad. It helped a lot and still helping a lot. Whatever you decide, document everything. We have no fault divorce here. At the same time, I get one, two in divorce, and I mean half of everything he owns, including his companies, whether he made it before or after we got married. I won't get primary custody, or I would have been gone five seconds after I found out about his cheating on me. Why wouldn't you get primary custody? Don't moms always get that? Where are you from? Because this is so odd. Shared custody is the default if the one parent doesn't wave their rights away or is being abusive or addicted or something serious. Primary custody isn't a thing here. More on how OP feels and how husband feels. He is the main breadwinner. Yes, we had a fight about a month ago, or not a fight more of him complaining that I'm distant and neglectful and he asked me what I wanted and kept asking and pestering me. I said I wanted him to leave me and give me my children. I would leave everything else to him. He was stunned for a while then when he calmed down, he said that I should take this idea out of my head, that I'm crazy if I thought he would abandon the children. Believe me, I tried so hard to be normal around him. It would have been so much easier, but I guess that is my limit of pretending. I just haven't managed to act normal, very disappointing. He may try blindsiding you with a divorce. He won't divorce, not for her and not for anyone. He has a lot to lose in case of a divorce even more than me. I don't read their conversations anymore, but he has no feelings for her. If he chooses to divorce for other reason, then it makes no difference if he or I do it. No, he didn't ask me why she isn't allowed in my home anymore, and he never talked about her again. He asked her, though, if she had done something or told me something. They speculated about it, and he told her if I found out in any way. He will never talk to her again. She said that it was unfair because maybe I would find out another way, but he told her that it didn't matter how. If I did, he will never speak or see her again. So I don't think she will ever bother me as long as she wants him. She will not want this to come out. Anyway, if they give me a few more years, I would be very happy. When the children are a bit older, he can leave me for her or a trash can for all I care. If he asks for divorce, then I can't do anything about it. Then it is divorce. I'm counting on him not wanting to have the children half the time either. If he has his home and his fun, I don't see why he would want a divorce. Wait, you told him she wasn't allowed in your home anymore? Does he know? No, he looked scared and said, okay, we never brought her up again. Maybe it is for the better if he knows, then I don't need confrontation. Screenshot the messages and threaten to leak them. 
I don't think threatening to expose someone's nudes is justifiable. Plus, I have no interest in doing anything to hurt her. My vendetta is with him and him alone. If not her, it could have been any other loser, but he will always he him. He hurt me and crushed my dreams and future. On the other woman, it takes two to tango. She might wanted to inflict her pain on a happy, unsuspecting woman just to feel better about herself. Just to feel that this doesn't only happen to her. But a good man would not have fallen for this. He would have turned her down. I hate her, but he is the one who destroyed my happiness. She can't have children and her husband's new woman has given birth to their first child. I think she, she wanted to take out her hurt on a mother because in her mind, her husband cheated because she couldn't conceive. He cheated because he is a bad person. She will never get it. Just tell him, you know. I have contemplated telling him so many times, but I don't know why, I just can't. Like, I would lose the little control I still have. Can you understand me? What if he knows? He will say it is over and he will change and he is sorry. None of which is true or something I want to hear. I will have to pretend I forgive him, forget, start marriage counseling, pretend I'm fine, or he would not care. Continue with his ways. He knows that I don't want to break up our family and he doesn't want that either. I don't know which is worse. One more thought from OP. I lost my husband and the love of my life. I won't lose my children and the life I know and love too. Update. Hi everyone. I didn't expect that I needed to make an update about my post because I really only ever wanted to vent because nobody knows my situation and I need an outlet. Sorry about that BTW. I have some news anyway and mostly they're based on your comments about me needing to protect my ass in case my husband got bored and left me. I have never been worried before because I basically own half of everything legally speaking, but I started to think of worst case scenario situations. Anyway, Friday, my husband had made me dinner and brought me flowers and chocolate. He said he wanted to make it a night for the two of us because he felt that we were pulling apart. Kids were sleeping and he wanted me and then got upset because it wasn't how he imagined the evening would go and accused me of not loving him or our family anymore. I got really angry when accused me of not loving my family when they're all I have left to give me love and hope. I snapped at him that I didn't feel safe with him anymore and he full well knew why I had become this way. You know the reason why? He was shocked and looked at me without saying anything and then just sat silent on his end of the sofa for the rest of the evening. Before bed, he asked me to tell him how I would feel safe again and to tell him what I wanted him to do. He went to bed. I stayed up all night and made a list of demands. I want a post-nuptial agreement where I get my house and my summer house. I become a partner at his companies at 50%. I don't know how these things work since I won't be buying in, but this is for him to fix. I'm not interested in management just that I have my half and the passive income. I want him to get a vasectomy. We were planning four children before all this, but I don't want that anymore. So he should have a vasectomy. I want him to always wear condoms with me or never bother to touch me again. I will not even tolerate complaining about that part. Also, I want biannual STI tests. This morning I sent him a text with these demands. I know it is silly to send someone you live with a text, but I didn't want to fumble with my words and forget details. I didn't want him to see me cry or being visibly emotional. I just couldn't take him trying to console me. Just the thought of him feeling sorry for me makes me sick. But also, I didn't want to forget anything, and I wanted it to be in writing. He read it on the breakfast table, and he didn't say anything. We continued the day as normal, and when the children were in bed, we had our dinner, and he said, About your demands. I agree. I told him to start on Monday with realizing my list. He agreed, so I guess since many of you asked me to take measurements and have a backup plan, this is what I could come up with. And it did help. I woke up today a little bit less anxious. I don't know how long we can keep this up, but I hope until I feel safe to leave my babies in his care, maybe when they're all in school. Relevant comments. Speak to an attorney and have them draft up parts one and two. I am making him the appointment for the vasectomy tomorrow. This is the most important thing, TBH. I thought this was his decision. Why are you calling for him? He asked me to since I'm a Sam and usually do all the appointments and stuff. He doesn't have time for these things. He doesn't have time for that, but had time for an affair. Yeah, that he had time for trash excuse of a human on the vasectomy i think he even liked the idea of vasectomy to tell you the truth he probably thought now he can do whatever without any consequences in a form of child support i don't know we have always talked about vasectomy after we are done having children so it wasn't a new concept only difference is that we wanted four children but now we have three 
I think that both me and him thought three were enough even before all this, when we got out youngest because it turned out to be a lot more than we thought. On the other woman, I wanted to demand that he cut cooperation with the company he hires where she works as a consultant, but then more than 10 people would be affected. It didn't sit right with me, plus it wouldn't make them not see each other, and I honestly don't care. I just want peace and to feel safe. Do you want to know if it's more than just her? I work with the assumption that there are, will be more. I will never trust him whether he ended it with her or not. This ship has sailed. Cut off everything physical. If it is up to me, he would never touch me again. But I can only reject him that many times. Because you find it hard to resist. Because he wears you down. Or because you're afraid the entire situation will break down and encourage him to file. The second one. He gets very upset and often I feel guilty too. Did he give you an apology? He said he was sorry that he made me feel unsafe with him. On screenshots, a lawyer ensuing. Yes, I have contacted some lawyers today. We will see how this will work because I have no idea. I can't sue anyone because we don't live in the US. All of this is just so you don't have to work? I will be back to work when my baby is older, in a year and a half or so. I am a teacher and I didn't study for almost five years to stay home. If you enjoyed these stories, then I would really appreciate it if you subscribed and liked. Have a good day and until the next one.